The time is here. The new iPhone has arrived and we're going to be taking a look at both phones. But in this video, we're concentrating on the sleek new iPhone 8. Let's get started with an unboxing then. I brought my unpacking knife, but I won't need it here because Apple manages to seal these things so they can be opened with just fingertips. So pull off that plastic and you're ready to lift the lid. Once you're in, there's a little pamphlet and the SIM tray opening tool, but we put this to the side because there's an iPhone we're waiting to play with underneath. Again, the phone is wrapped and a little tab allows us to lift it easily out of the box. Unwrapping is as easy as pie and then we're in. In terms of accessories, we're pretty familiar with what you get. The lightning port headphones mean that you have something that works with the phone out of the box, though anyone with existing headphones can use the supplied Apple adapter. You'll also find the plug and lightning cable to charge up your phone, but the all new iPhone has some tricks up its sleeve there too, but more on that later. The iPhone 8 is certainly an interesting device, a beautiful upgrade to the iPhone 7 with some interesting changes both internally and externally. First up, worth mentioning that new back, which is now made out of glass. Apple says it's strong though, the strongest glass ever used on a smartphone in fact. I'm not dropping this one to find out though. The main reason that Apple has moved to glass is so it can use wireless charging and it works impressively well too. With the iPhone picking up the charger instantly and giving its little charging beep, Apple will release its own charging base next year, but for now you can use any that has the wireless Qi system, like the competitor charger I've used here. Expect to see a lot of public charging mats appear. The other massively important feature is the True Tone display. This uses a front mounted sensor to detect the sort of light you're using the device in. It then matches the colour to the ambient light and reduces eye strain. It's wide colour display too, which remains absolutely stunning. There's been a change to the internal storage too. It's a 64GB minimum now and there are only two options, 64 and 256GB. This is great and you should get the biggest amount you can afford because you'll fill it up with photos and videos. Apple has also added more processor cores too which will boost the speed of the device and there's an all new graphics processor too which will help Apple's augmented reality and gaming plans. We'll have a full review of the iPhone 8 soon, but if you can't wait, you can get the all-new iPhone from Direct Mobiles.